What's up guys, Artillboy here. Today we're doing another video. Today we're taking a look at the Hojmer folding knife. Let's begin. So, let's uh, let's go talk about this, shall we? Now, this is how you open this knife. Now, you could probably do is with this and with the little hole, you could put, put your thumb right there and that's about it. Or you can do it with the big hole and there we go, that's two. And then, if you're basically kind of know, and yes, this is kind of reminds me of, or kind of doing the whole Gerber quadrant. Remember that guy? Yeah, I can actually do this. I can actually flick the knife itself. But uh, how do I close it? This little thumb index, you can basically push it back in and voila, here you go. Okay, and uh, you can see... So the blade itself, I could probably know, it's probably had that more drop point to the thing. Basically a thumb hole for, basically for your thumb to put on. And then you can open it. Of course, it got the hedge hoge mirror. That's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong if I'm pronouncing that. Of course, you got the... Oh, of course, it's basically China. So uh, probably my best bet for this one is going to be stainless steel. And yes, this has that really sharp jimping. Well, not really sharp, but kind of had that squared jimping of all things. Yeah, it's actually meant to hold it like this, of all things. Okay, and then we got basically, uh, I think, pop metal with some aluminum inside. Or, no, basic, yeah, kind of a pop metal looking deal. With, like, the extreme level of extreme grip of all things. Like, you could just, like, thirteen on the bottom, and then... Fourteen on the top. And it's actually on both sides, so that's kind of pretty insane about it. Of course, this is the... Um, of course, you got the... You can actually take this off, but unfortunately, it's not... Uh, you can't put it on the other side, so yeah, kind of pretty sad about that one. You know, the dancing numbers, the song and numbers. Okay, got... You can actually take this off to disassemble it. There's actually also on the other side... There's a big one on that one, which doesn't have it on the other side. So it's basically just a one way. There's also the, basically the, the steel pieces inside. So there's like three of them. And of course, and I'm going to say this here is, I'm not a fan of this uh, type of camo. You know, it's, it's again, probably... Yeah, probably not the best camo of all. Basically, kind of have the whole think that it would blend into the forest, but that's probably not the best. I mean, you could probably... I don't ever recall... Well, it is a civilian camo, so you could probably... I can shut up about that one here. But I prefer, like, you know, like either digital camo or even the, even the M81 pattern style, so... That kind of something I probably would like. So, the size of, size of this folding knife. So, the size on this one is around about three and a half inches. Meanwhile, for the handle, would be around about, see, four three-fourths. And then the overall size, oh, the overall size, would be around about of eight-quarter so, let's test this bad boy out. So, the results out there is, uh, yeah, that's like one clean cut. Like, that's a pretty good cl clean cut to see that here. So that's really, that's really good. So... 
This one's a pretty decent piece of all things, I could probably know. And yes, I really did the whole flick deal. You can probably flick the thing, which is pretty awesome to do that. So I give the Hojmer, Hojmer folding knife an astounding of basically a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty decent knife, and yeah, I'm not a fan of a fan of the the camo of all things, but I can definitely see that one's pretty good on its on its own merits. So that wraps up of the Hojmer uh, folding knife. I'm Artillery, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time.